So the topic today is on writing emails in the context of work, business, and specifically written in the context of networking, right? So when you reach out to other people, whether it's for a business opportunity or you're inquiring about potential job opportunities or you're asking for a referral, you're asking for an introduction, you're asking for advice, all those kinds of things. So the first thing with these emails are that I would definitely recommend using some kind of template for them. And the reason for this is so that you can keep it as succinct and concise as possible and to the point. There's always a hook to reach out, right? So that's something that we've covered in previous uh, videos on this topic about, you know, it's always good to have somebody to refer to. People get so many of these uh, uh, emails that are just, you know, kind of like hitting them up for all kinds of things and everyone's really busy and it's just is likely to get lost, right? So try and see if you can have something that links you in some way, shape or form if you are directly reaching out. Now, if you are doing it through an actual real introduction, that is always the better way to go and that's what we recommend. However, this is in the case where you don't have that and you're reaching out to somebody kind of cold, cold-ish, but like I said, there is a reason based, there is something that connects you and that's why you, you're reaching out, right? So make sure that that's the first thing that you mention, whether it's somebody that you briefly met at a conference or you didn't actually meet them but you were at the same conference. Um, it could be someone, like I said, that you, you know, you went to the same school even if it wasn't at the same time, even if you didn't know them, there is some kind of link, right? You're alumni of the same institution, alumni of the same uh, employer, uh, something like that. Going back to the issue of templates is that it's so easy to get carried away with writing a lot because you want to obviously put your best foot forward, you want to make a strong introduction. And so, for example, I do this and I've seen this in some emails I have edited where I, I want to justify um, you know, that I'm, I'm worthy of that person's time, right? So I will write kind of a very lengthy uh, background. Sometimes I might even write a lot about why I'm reaching out um, and the conversation that I want to have and why they should um, spend the time talking to me, all of that. So none of that is bad. All of that is good and the thinking behind that is correct. But you don't want to inundate the reader with something too long that they would get overwhelmed by and in, and then they just don't end up reading any of it, right? So what you want to do is that balance between enough just to make sure that they are, you know, they, they, you're kind of putting something out there that's enough to grab their attention, that's enough to get them to be willing to talk to you for 15 minutes, right? So uh, that's why it's so important to be concise and yet so difficult, right? You kind of want an email that's got like an opening, a uh, couple of sentences and then a nice little um, size line paragraph in the middle and then the ending thing which basically asks for the 15 minute phone conversation or um, suggests a coffee chat, chat if that's appropriate. So that's the final kind of would you have 15 minutes to spare and then you finish that off. So it doesn't re leave you that much from the introduction that should tell you what connects you and why you're reaching out and the end thing that kind of puts out the schedules, times, potential uh, uh, availability on your end, asking them um, what availability they have at their end. So it really only leaves that middle bit, right? So that's why, um, you know, you kind of have to make the best use of that, um, that little bit of real estate that you have. And so I suggest using Templates. We have templates for almost any networking uh, situation, especially if you're in school, if you're in graduate school or undergraduate and you're in a job search either before you're about to graduate, you're, you're still in school or 
you've graduated recently, so that's covered. But even for professionals out there, I think a lot of our templates work. And then I would also suggest there are a couple of other places you can you get good templates. One is um, Gmail itself. If you use Gmail, um, y there are lots of apps and add-ons that you can sign up to that gives you templates to use everything from even in your even your personal email things that simplify your re responses to people um, all the way to slightly more sophisticated um, templates that are already prepared and are there for people to use so you could be if you're someone in sales they have templates that for people who are reaching out um, say like it's the first sales ish type of email reach out and then the second one the follow-up and then the third one um, and the third one, for example, will say they don't really want to bother the person any any further or, or you know, kind of just keep calm, emailing them if it's, they're really not interested. But if they're not interested, if they could just let them know and that way they can kind of move on. And it's just they've done that really well. And so that's one place. I mean, I like Gmail, especially if you use Gmail, it's it's relatively easy to kind of grab the template pops up. there's a little thing that says use a template so every time you open up a new email window uh, that is right there right so you have their templates you can also use theirs and set up a few templates of your own that you can keep on using after that and then you can put your signature on there there's just a lot of little things you can do that will help you streamline the process and also ensure that you really are just kind of sticking to very simple clean language.